I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I'm joined by Jade Sheedy from the Athelston Football Club in Division 3, and he's our feature coach of the week. So, Jade, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up playing football? Uh, thanks, Todd. I uh, grew up in the Mildura in Victoria, actually Gol Gol, which is in New South Wales, just across the border, but I say Mildura because no one knows where Gol Gol is. So, uh, yeah, played there, played um, at the Gol Gol Hawks, which was uh, only a junior club. Back then, I only had nines and under 11s, only a really small small town of 600 people. So uh, I played uh, played nines and under 11s there, progressed into um, Imperial Football Club, which is in Mildura, a pretty big club in Mildura. Um, had a lot of success. Um, the club in, has got a lot of history about it and um, went there from under 13s up until seniors. And then, um, yeah, come over here through a friend and, and managed to... Uh, I'm a carpenter by trade and I and, and, uh, was doing an apprenticeship back there and um, got transferred over to here and ended up playing at Sturt for 13 years and then found my way uh, at Athelston. So. You obviously had a fair bit of a success at Sturt. Just tell us a little bit about those times and how much you enjoyed it. Yeah, I loved it. It was, you know, it was a big part of my life. It was probably footy first and work second at, at that stage. It, it consumes you a lot of your life. It's you know, training nearly every night of the week. and. Yeah, I was obviously there for 13 years and met some great people and um, didn't have as much success as we'd like. We, we played in two grand finals and, and won one when I was a young kid um, and probably thought it was going to happen all the time, but consistently played in finals and, yeah, met a lot of great people um, on and off the field and, and really enjoyed my time. What were some of the biggest experiences you took out of playing at Sturt? Um, obviously coming from country town, just, uh, you know, coming to a professional environment, you know, where we had to train and adjusting my body to, to train um, four or five times a week and then play and, and recover and then do it, then work on the tools during the week and then do it all again the following week and obviously got to play you know, in Amy Stadium and, and Adelaide Oval a lot, um, played some state footy which I really enjoyed, um, playing with other, with other teams, um, other, other people from other teams and yeah so there was, there was lots of good things that come out of it. You're obviously in a lot different environment now. What did you take away from Sturt and now have brought to the Athelson Football Club through your coaching? Yeah, it's hard. You sort of you, you pick you pick bits and pieces out of every out of every coach that you that you've had during the years. And um, I think it's important at amateur level still to have have the fun. Um, but I, I'm a big believer in the fun that comes from setting up a, a good culture and a good environment where you know you obviously need to win more times than not. So. It's, uh, you know, I tried to bring a bit of uh, a professional vibe to the place and we've got a, a leadership program with Greg Moulton um, who does a lot of leadership around Adelaide and got him involved and just tried to, you know, we've, we've painted the change rooms and put a gym in there and just tried to really make it a professional environment and, and the young kids there are, are really good and they want to get better and it's been a win-win so it's been really good. What have been some of the biggest challenges you've faced as a coach so far? Um... Probably, and, and I'm lucky, it's, it's not all the players, but probably coming from an SANFL environment where everyone has to commit, you know, it's, it's nearly a job to, to come into amateurs where you get some, some pretty good excuses at times, like I'm going out for dinner or I can't train, it's my mother's birthday or something like that. But in saying that, um, I haven't had too many challenges. got great support off the field. Um, Stephen Brown, football director, got some great coaches, um, you know, Todd Barris in the B grade and, and John Tomaselli and... And Roger Lomond and Jason Belak, all a, a great, really great support for me. Um, and you know, g- uh, give a lot of support around the place. And, and we've got some really good volunteers at the place that, that do a great job. So it's been a pretty good transition. And, and I'm lucky to have that them people around me to make it easier. Okay, we'll, we'll just move on to Atherton. If you'd like to mention a few of the sponsors that help the club run on a Saturday. Yeah, sure. We've got obviously Res Hotel. Um, up there in, in Paradise, uh, I think it's Paradise. Uh, we've got uh, Crowey's Paints, uh, Marnie's Lawyers are the new one that have come on board this year. Um, McPeak Builders, there are a couple of blokes that play at the footy club and support it. Adelaide Pool Mart also um, support the support the footy club um, and, and play and play at the footy club. A couple of boys there. Lion Conveyancing um, and also uh, Nelson Teamwear. They're new this year and they've supplied us with all the. Uh, all the apparel so yeah we've got a few good sponsors there so thank you to all them if you'd like to mention as well have you had any club functions this year that have been really successful or have you got any coming up yeah we've got the ball next weekend so that's uh, that's at Safaras um so they're trying to make a 
a really big deal of that and, and you know try and get as many people as we can there. I think we've got about 170 to 180 coming at this stage, which will be a really good night for the footy club. Um, we had a back to front uh, raffle a couple of weeks ago, which was really enjoyable. We had a, had a dogs night early in the year. Um, we all went out to the dog park and, and had a good time. And uh, yeah, so we've got some got got a junior event coming up, a mouse cup as well. So been really good. We've got a new social committee this year. Um, yeah, so the social committee's been really good and really driving that. So we've, we've had some really good functions and I'm sure next weekend the ball will be great. Okay, thank you, Jade. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I've been joined by Jade Sheedy from the Athelstan Football Club in Division 3 and he's our feature coach of the week.